Alright, generic greetings, fellow citizens of the internet. This is, of course, Richard, and today I bring you another episode on the OmniSlab server. CDFD man was unfortunately just slain by a zombie. Um, we did, in fact, just have the initiation for Mr. CD CDFD man, yeah, uh, him. Uh, so I guess I'll roll that footage right now. Try to get your, um... Get off the slab. Okay. <laughs> Try to get your get your hot bars empty so oh, that no. in your recording it has nothing but a slab. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. I've got lots of stuff in my. Oh uh, well, I'm, that's let's, what I'm gonna do. Just, right. I'm, I'm in F1 three. mode. I'm in F1 okay, mode. Three, two. CDFD man. Wait, please approach what? the slab. What's going on? Please approach the slab. <laughs> he can join Wait. the server. Hi guys, this is CDFD man. I'm on a random server, and yeah, pretty interesting. So there's group of people up here. Let's go check them out. One of us. One, One of us. us. <laughs> There's a zombie behind you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot be one of us. <laughs> that, that zombie seriously did not stand a chance. That was... <laughs> yeah, I don't think we like you. We don't like your friends, alright? <laughs> no one. You, you oh, you're, you're, they're not <laughs> invited. <laughs> Sorry, right, guys. CDFD, man. Stay back. This right, is the right. Omni Slabs, and we have been considering you for quite some time now to be a part of our server. Is he going to like, on the Would on you the like slab? to be initiated? Yes. <laughs> then please. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh -huh. Where'd you go? So Wait, who did that? So, that was Donner. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, oh, he got, he got kicked, didn't he? So, alright, alright, are we gonna restart this or should we just Donner. keep going? Just go. No, let's just CDF go on. on. Let's just go. Please, please let's stand go. on let's the slab of potential. Wait, 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 wait. okay. Bing! <laughs> okay, I'm back. Alright, please stand on the stone slab of potential. Okay. Uh, you can do it. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm out. Oh. Ten more. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! Uh, no! 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 Don't break that block. Okay. No, Ever. Okay. No, I have a slab. Oh. Okay. Dino, you equip your slab. You are. We we shall consider adding you to the Omni Slab server, but we already have considered you. Yep. So, <laughs> oh do you accept all that it takes to be a member of? The Omni Slab server. Yes. <laughs> You're in. Hey. Woohoo! Hey. Yay! Start running. Now we murder you. Wreck always Start does. running. <laughs> oh god. I'm serious. Start running. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So it appears that as my first, you know, initiation, they're just gonna, you know, kill me with arrows and knives. I, so I'm, 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 I'm trying to block way. their shots. I'm trying to block their shots. I'm trying to be a nice guy here. I got oh. him. It's a painful one. Uh oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm on one heart, guys. I, oh, jeez. This is, geez. This is yeah, it's power five. <laughs> Welcome to your initiation. Yeah, this is tough hazing. To hell. <laughs> so, uh, I'm officially part of the OmniSab server now. Yes! <laughs> Perp of all people. Perp, that was my kill. <laughs> No. Okay, so I don't. Elder know Sword. Oh more. man, this guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Murderer. That was a really good shot. It was my only shot too. <laughs> hey. Mm. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a creatively named sword. That's something that I need to do. Oh, I picked up. I picked up something. Okay. Where's my stuff? Wow. Okay. Ah. Over here on the hill. Good times. Good well, times. Welcome, welcome to the server, CDFD man. <laughs> yeah. A warm welcome indeed. 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 Oh, hey, look. They gave me a diamond sword. There's a bunch of stuff on the ground. Look no, all this stuff. Don't you dare. Oh, that's Rex stuff. <laughs> oh, no, hey. don't you dare. Look at all this stuff. This is great. Don't don't you dare. Did he dare? He dare. Yeah, he picked up your stuff. <laughs> Dang it. Rec, I got some more stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I think we're all set here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, um. These are. Uh, so that was great fun and all that kind of thing. 
Uh, but right now, as you can see, uh, the more perspe pers pers perceptive people among you might have actually noticed already that I am in fact on top of the nether. Um, this is what there is above the bedrock that... Um, uh, at the top of the nether there is this bedrock, and then above that there is not much. Uh, however, I am up here. I've gotten up here by way of ender pearls. Uh, you can actually ender pearl your way through um, to the top of the nether. Uh, and I'm here on the Omni Slab server on top of the Nether because there is a crazy new breakthrough that um, somebody on Reddit discovered and posted. Uh, I guess DocM has made a video about it. I guess DocM and pro I guess Panda and DocM, uh, probably other folks as well, already knew about it before it got posted, but didn't post anything about it because they didn't want it to get patched. Uh, but now that it has been posted and it's all over the place, it is probably going to get patched pretty quick. Uh, which is why I am taking advantage of it as quickly as possible. Um, so here we go, here we go, we've got a dark oak tree which has been grown multiple times inside itself basically uh, resulting in this monstrosity and then the bottom four blocks have been cut away and more saplings have been put there to replace it and you've already sort of got a spoiler of what the result is supposed to be uh, down here because it has worked once um, but this is what this is what you want to get uh, is this result right here. Uh, the tree is actually derping out in its generation in a very serious sort of way, uh, and the result is this right here. I think I actually got a good demonstration here. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So check this out. We've got a few uh, pieces of wood around here. Uh, but it's like, you know, what, what's that? It's, it's nothing. It's just pieces of wood there. Uh, the interesting part comes when you find out that these pieces of wood actually extend down below where the bedrock was. There's actually... These, these have actually replaced bedrock. Um, these might not have. These might have just replaced planks. But I believe this one did. And it is definitely possible for it to replace bedrock. Uh, so, we are using this technique to cut away at the um, bedrock, making up the ceiling of the nether, and long term, uh, we're basically going to shoot to do something, uh, we're just going to try and get a big hole in it. And actually, over here, uh, we have already done a bit, uh, sort of been taking turns working on all this and so forth. Uh, and we've managed to do this, um, which is rather impressive. This is just a gigantic gaping hole right through into uh, the nether proper. And this is going to be awesome. This is going to be big enough that we'll be able to you know, put some kind of fancy staircase up through. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Um, but I am... We're probably going to continue to work um, to make this one bigger. Uh, but it's actually sort of diagonal from the portal. The portal um, to spawn is more or less directly below there, um, and they sort of made a diagonal shaft going upwards and came up around here. Uh, so that's why this one's over here. Uh, so we did bust through here, but now I'm working on busting through directly above the spawn portal. Um, and so basically it's just a matter of keeping going and keeping planting saplings repeatedly until um, as many blocks as desired are replaced, uh, and then after that just, um, moving the thing over and so forth and keeping going, maybe moving it down, and I've gotten, I've sort of gotten the hang of, you know, figuring out where best to place the thing to destroy as many blocks, uh, and the thing, the, um, vertical pillars of wood would appear to be able to spawn uh, not directly underneath, but in this uh, ring directly around, directly adjacent to, or diagonal from, the um, central trunk. Uh, I've never seen anything spawn further out than that, and I've never seen it spawn um, directly underneath, but it's basically these things along the side, uh, derping out and actually generating underneath the dirt uh, and into the, um, into the, what is actually bedrock. Uh, so, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, um, and I'm going to probably keep working on this, 
and see how far I can get. I'm also going to need to boot this up in FOV and go on a massive quest to get some dark wood in my FOV world in order to get going with this stuff because I definitely want to take advantage of this in that world as well while it is still in the game because like I say it's probably going to get patched out pretty fast if I have to guess. So I will get back with you when I've got more on this um, either with this or with other projects we shall see. Uh, but that's going to be pretty much it for now I think that's just the general idea and yeah I'm psyched I'm really psyched this is going to be awesome we're going to have direct access to the nether all right the top of the nether uh, I'm probably going to do I, I'm going to do all kinds of different things I've got so many plans I had plans for the two um can't talk today um I had plans for the top of the nether anyway and the fact that I'm going to be able to directly access it and so forth is just like icing on the cake uh, and it, this is going to be amazing this is going to be really amazing I'm excited I'm really excited. So, back with you guys in just a moment. Alrighty, so I thought I'd just uh, clarify just a bit um, and give you an update as to what I'm doing here. Uh, the game plan at the moment is to uh, sort of take advantage of the way that this works. Um, so, around the central uh, trunk, there is a um, pattern that looks a bit like this of spaces that these um, downward facing logs can spawn. Uh, so you get a pattern a bit like this, and this would be sort of drilled downward into the bedrock. Um, and then I'm just shifting uh, back and forth. This pattern, I'm now moving the dirt from like to be from like right here to one over to chop out these and these and then one this way uh, from the original location to get these and all of these. So the area that I'm eventually going to cut out is going to be just like that. Just a big section, a uh, nice big rectangle, clean straight down through. Uh, that one over there is pretty uneven and crazy. It just looks like a bomb went off. Uh, but this one I'm going to try and do really nice and cleanly and just cut right straight down through so we'll be able to put in a nice staircase or something. Uh, we'll see. And I can make it longer this way if necessary. Uh, if it's looking like we're going to need more space this way, because that's probably the way I'm going to do it. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, and I'll keep you posted. Uh, that's the general idea. Alright, I think that's going to do it. Uh, just let me get out of this thing. And... <laughs> just let me get out of this thing. Uh... <laughs> and that's the result. Um, so let me just tear down this tree and we'll see what I have left. There we go. Much better. Uh, so as you can see, all bedrock is gone. That is a nice feeling. Uh, it's definitely looking like if we're going to do any kind of gradual staircase, it's probably not going to be enough room. Uh, but it's certainly good enough for now. And I think this is how I'm going to leave it. Uh, if the if the um if the thing hasn't been fixed uh, when I get back to this, I'll probably continue it, like extend it or something, and prepare for a staircase. Uh, otherwise, we'll probably just do ladder system or something. We'll figure it out. Uh, but um, this should be good enough, and it's certainly a hole in the Nether, and it'll be functionally. I mean, that would have been sufficient, but this will be a nice additional sort of thing here. Um, so I'm, I'm satisfied for now. Uh, if I get the luxury of more time, I will do more, but for now, that's what I'm going to stick to. Uh, and I don't think I'm even going to do with anything with it right now. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, and then later we can come back and do something creative and interesting. But that is a very good feeling, and this is very cool indeed. He's fortuning it. Yeah, I'm gonna fortune it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right, proceed whenever you need to, just to make us feel poor. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I have like 32 of the or 32 of the quartz blocks. <laughs> oh man. I mean, that thing looks really good, though. I like it. Have my, you seen it? Look up. Look up over there. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that thing is. I, I, I told him to put the stone thing on the bottom. Right. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks good. I like it. Is there a way up there, or do we just have to, like... You guys will it? never be able to get up there. Okay. Actually, I got up there the other day. Just to check it out. It was cool. Did you get up <laughs> to it? I got, like, above it from that water stream, but I couldn't no, get up. No, I, I, he, he has since taken out the water stream that I yeah. used to get yeah, up there. Yeah, I was aware. I am aware of that. Cause uh, yeah. It, it does look nice, though. Eventually, I, I plan on having, like, point, floating sure. glass. So you have I, to, like, I think Rek figured out a way to fly in survival mode. <laughs> using the Telrock man. <laughs> using Telrock, okay. <laughs> well, hey, you could actually do that. Yeah. Yeah, you could. I mean, you could just, if you're use opt, you, you could use commands to just set yourself to creative, but... We're not going to do that. But that's, yeah, no. that's, not, that's not the way that we do things around here. Okay, so for, uh, I think <laughs> one thing that we should really tackle is the obsessive spawning of mobs around our spawn. Yeah, yeah, that's going to need to be a big project coming uh, up. I soon. have about two stacks of spruce wood if someone wants to smelt it up into charcoal. Um, Just because it's like every time I'm over in spawn, it's like, creeper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if the mesa biome is actually a pretty efficient, uh, pretty efficient mob farm if you have the tools <laughs> to fight them. But ever since That's I lost my sword, I just don't. I don't want to go back down there. Mm. I miss my sword. Okay. I lost everything I owned. So, on my person. I, I lost everything I owned like three times. You have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I lost what? No. So if the next diamond sword I make, it'll, that'll be my fourth sword. It'll be my fifth pickaxe. Of diamond. That is awful. <laughs> Not including the ones I've the, just the the raw diamonds I've died with in caves. Because your inventory in is caves. full. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you out. How about that? No, I got it. I got it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah, purp it's fine, purple. It's fine. I'll purple. Purple. The I've server was lagging things. the other day because he couldn't pick anything up, and then like thirty minutes later, he's like, my inventory was full. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here, here. Can, I'll help you. Can you, toss, you. can you toss me a stack? I know where you guys are. Here, here, here. Check it out. I'll help you. I'll help you. Okay. Ready? Hey, hey, so, hey. No, no, no. Yesterday, no, no. I was trying to find the sunflower, and I couldn't find one anywhere. I'll be right back. Nobody touch it. It was like none. <laughs> Hurry, I guys. Steal everything he has. No. You <laughs> have <laughs> chance. Alrighty. Um... Well, I guess that that will be pretty much the end of oh, the episode, there's a skeleton. so I will check in with you guys later. Episode? Um, oh. Yeah, I've been recording. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, Hello. But yeah, um, so thanks a lot for checking out the video. There's a lot more to come, so keep watching. However, with that, I will conclude this episode and bid you farewell for now.